You're still watching, Way, so we'll just go straight into what we found in the news. Mari, I'll come to you. What did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so um, Lagos to build more schools to check out of school children. Uh, as part of efforts to encourage more enrollment of school age children and check out of school children, the Lagos state government has expressed its readiness to build more schools. The State Commissioner for Education, um, Mrs. Adefisaya, disclosed this during a meeting with the Chief Resilience Officer of Lagos State. Mm. That's basically the summary of what I have in the news today. And I think it's good news. Me, I've been bringing good news back to back for like two weeks now. <laughs> I don't know. They necessarily, <laughs> they necessarily might not or might do it, but the fact that, you know, they're talking about it and putting it into consideration, you know, no, and I think the last time I was on the show with Issy, she was talking about how we need to devise ways to put more kids in school. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that this is a great initiative. We pray and hope that they see it through to the end. Amen, 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 amen. Before you say the amen, hold on first. <laughs> you know, the number of out-of-school children in Lagos <laughs> is a lot. You know, it's a welcome initiative. However, I, I want to understand um, what, what uh, measures or what are they measuring you know, and how are they measuring the, the number of out-of-school children in terms of the capacity and why they concluded that it is building more schools that is the, that is the solution to taking children out of school. Not that the student, children are willing to just stay out of school because they would rather go on the streets to beg. Do you understand? I don't know if you get my point. No, I don't really understand where you're coming from. So the point I'm trying to make is what, what parameters do they use to measure that it is more buildings that they require to get more children out of the streets into these classrooms. I, mean, but I, think, well, well, I feel like we can agree, first of all, that we need more schools for children, right? I'm not because, in, because so I, I'm not doubting that, Mori. I'm just saying that, you know, if you're saying that as part of the measures to combat children that are out of school, right? That is the part of why they are building more schools. I'm asking, the question oh, I'm asking in place to, yes. you know, get... Well, this is... We don't have the entire news. We just have the snippets. I mean, I feel like in... in I know you like... Give us, you I, know, know. I know I know you <laughs> like... So I know you like good news. I'm just saying that. I don't want to bust you, but I'm just saying that, you know, outside of just saying, oh, they want to build more uh, structures to be able to accommodate more children into the classrooms. The children that we have, we know that our class um, public um, schools are overcrowded. There's no doubt about it. But I'm saying that, is that the only reason children are out of school? Or there's another reason that makes children stay on the streets rather than be in school during school hours? So those are also part of the things they should also think about while they are making uh, some of this... Uh, uh, what's it called? No, but one, 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 one step at a time, no? No? <laughs> I mean, let's be them smart like this. They're doing something. Mori, you don't like to fight at all. <laughs> you just like to do take it. Yeah, I don't, I just, I mean, and it's like you know when you've given up. You know, so whatever, so just do do something. Let me see that you are doing. Because me, I'm just tired of all this <laughs> failure, failure. Absolutely. All right. So my story is actually very tight. So much. In fact, it broke today. I was so excited. It's tied to the conversation that we're having today. So the story says uh, Tesla buys $1.5 billion um, worth in, big, in Bitcoin. Um, so um, Tesla, you know Tesla now, the, the big brand. They bought $1.5 billion um, Bitcoin, you know, investing in Bitcoin. When they were asked that, is it the risky? Well, they say if, it's, if it is not exciting, if it's not risky, then it's not Tesla. So immediately this happened, right? The price of Bitcoin or the coin um, rose by 7%. So it's now over $40,000 per coin, right? So where the government of Nigeria is trying to ban their banks from transacting um, with Bitcoin, some other parts of the world are deciding to invest so much money in, uh, what's it called, in cryptocurrency. In all honesty, Mori, I do not know jack about cryptocurrency. I know that I've been hearing about cryptocurrency for the longest of time. I had associated cryptocurrency to all this multi-level marketing, all this networking and pyramid and all those things, MMM. So I had completely removed my mind. I said, I'm not interested. But now that you are saying that that is the currency of the future, before I go and sit down, I don't have money again in the future. <laughs> Let me start to learn. <laughs> Have an expert that will help Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Um, talking about risk, you that you know test life. I'm right. That that's Elon Musk. Right? Yes, Elon Musk. Yes. It is. No, I'm very sure, but it's not normal like what. His middle name is risk. Like he likes to do wild things. Yes. So, so we cannot 
with this level of reasoning, I mean, with the normal average person, it, it takes huge massive. Risk. Oh yes, he does. He but, but you see, the truth is yeah. that whether we like it or not, digital currency is the future. So how do we navigate ourselves to make sure that we are playing in that future? That should be the question. Instead of all these banning left, right, and center. But we'll bring in the experts when we come back um, from the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.